on in dear friends welcome to this moments of meditation as we open our hearts and ears to listen to what the spirit of god wants to talk to you this morning for our guidance and inspiration and strength to live and glorify our god today's meditation is actually based on a small verse in the letter of peter the first peter chapter 3 verse 15 this verse says but sanctify the lord in your hearts and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear we have here a strong call to set apart christ in our hearts as lord it is a call for an inner reverence for christ and a commitment to christ as lord and always ready to speak for him and explain the gospel to others that is the call but before we can explain the gospel to others and to bring others to Christ we need to sanctify Christ or set apart sanctify means set apart Christ in our hearts as our lord and once that is done we will be ready to explain the reason for the hope that we have in our hearts for this we must know god's word and the truth in order to rightly witness for christ and lead others to him you compare this statement with the gospel according to st john chapter 4 verses 4 to 26 This lengthy paragraph contains Jesus meeting the Samaritan woman at the well and how he gently and yet very strongly led her to acknowledge him as Messiah and as Lord and at the end not only she surrendered herself to him she went back to the village and brought the entire village to see Jesus Now our scripture for today says we need to set apart Christ as Lord in our hearts or sanctify the Lord Christianity is a heart religion this is the emphasis sanctifying the Lord is something uh, that has to be uh, done and that has to take place in the heart of God's people man is a shrine man is a temple as such man is a sanctuary and therefore man is a place of worship and a place of worship has to be clean and neat and it is set apart only for the worship of a divine person and that is why the instruction is very strong set apart jesus christ in your heart as lord in this temple there is a congregation consisting of a wishes motives desires ambitions likes passions yearnings and longings and jesus christ also is there within us but it means christ should be the chief the one in command to whom the rest of the congregation must bow He must be the supreme commander who we call the commander in chief and no one should be higher or greater than Jesus Christ in our hearts in our lives 
in all our relationship. Now what it means to sanctify Christ? It means two things. Set him apart from the common and the ordinary. In the Bible, sanctify means to set apart. To view in a different light. He is special. He is extraordinary. And so he is to be given an extraordinary kind of reverence and respect. And our homage should be directed to him. One of our biggest problem is, without realizing, we use Christ very commonly. Now what do I mean? Number one, we treat him as a fire escape. Now what does that mean? We first come to him as an escape from hellfire. We begin to think of him as savior. Savior from sin and wrath to come. If we continue to live in sin, not only that path will take us into hellfire, but then besides that, a big wrath of God shall come before we go to the hellfire. And secondly, we treat him commonly as a doctor. He not only bore our sin, but also sicknesses. And by his stripes we are healed. It is a verse that very often we quote. His blood is the best vaccine. And thirdly, we treat him commonly as a, a dangerous escape. If you read Psalm number 120, Please read this psalm after this meditation to understand what I mean. Our, you know, we will treat him as a watchman. He protects us from uh, sin and wrath and our enemies. And he provides. Psalm number 23. These are the famous psalms that we like and we read often. Psalm number 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd. Therefore, I shall not lack anything in life. Then he takes me and he feeds me. And he, uh, he, he makes me lie down on green pastures. Lying down means he first leads us to green pastures where the sheep can feed to its satisfaction. And once you are satisfied, you lie down. And then he says, he leads me beside the still waters. And so he does everything in order to satisfy us. Thank God, he is our savior from sin and judgment. He is our fire escape. Thank God, he is our best physician. No sickness is impossible for him to handle and heal us. He even raises the dead. So what is a sickness for him? Thank God he is our protector and provider. He even gladdens us by preparing a table for us in the presence of our enemies. And what a wonderful shepherd he is. As a shepherd's responsibility is to lead the sheep to the green pastures and let the sheep feed themselves in that pasture, green pastures, and then satisfy themselves. Our God is a good God. And I want to say, that uh, it is good for us to trust this God. But then, my purpose of this meditation is to tell you that uh, he is much more than all these. 
and we must be careful how we treat him therefore we can trust him to take care of all these things i mentioned but how is he more important and how we need to consider him and treat him who is he to us just a provider just a someone who heals or protects us and that is a reference to to ourselves we are more concerned about ourselves is that the reason why we follow him there is something more there should be in our relationship my friends and that's what i am going to talk to you tomorrow and so we will continue this but today let us realize one thing that before we treat him as anything but if we want to show some respect and fear of our god we must set apart christ in our hearts as our lord the full name of jesus christ is jesus christ the lord and that means he is the savior he is our god whom we worship but he is lord he should be lord more than savior he should be lord yes he is our savior we need to trust him for salvation but once that is done then we need to sanctify him in our hearts as lord and as lord we must follow him and obey him he is the commander in chief he should be treated that way and so even when we pray for sickness for healing or for provisions or for protection we must do it with a great sense of humility and humbleness before him knowing that our total dependence is on him not only for these temporary blessings but also for greater eternal blessings and i pray that tomorrow i will when i speak you will have a clearer understanding of who and what he truly should be to us god bless you today as you live today is the day given to you to live and glorify our god remember he is greater than any of these things he is greater than a doctor he is greater than a provider he is greater than a keeper and protector we can trust him for all these but then he is greater than all these so as we live today let us make sure that this jesus is the most important person in our life may the holy spirit help you to do it and may the holy spirit grant you his grace and strength to follow jesus very open very often we expect jesus to 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 follow us and go after us wherever we go and protect us but that should not be a good shepherd always go ahead of us follow him and then surely goodness and mercy shall follow you throughout this week may the lord bless you and keep you and protect you and reveal greater things about himself to you and as you grow in the knowledge of christ may you be blessed and be strong father i thank you for blessing your people today with a better understanding of who and what you truly are thank you for doing it in jesus name amen my friend today the whole day is ahead of us enjoy this day by the grace of god and be obedient to him amen